Walt Disney called Ken Anderson his jack of all trades. As a world traveler, he has an eye for the exotic. The snapshot sketches he made on his travels often became cartoon characters. His technical innovations made Disney animation less expensive and gave it new life. Look, Pongo. Anita! And his artistic leadership helped the animators carry on after the death of Walt Disney. Yeah. Dragons are nothing new to Disney. Anderson manufactured a different kind of fire breather for Pete's Dragon in 1977. So I thought, why not a big bumbling Wallace Beery type of dragon? A guy who uh, has, he doesn't shave, he can't shave all the time. He's got stubble on his beard, on his chin, and uh, yet he's warm hearted, but crude. And uh, also it'd be kind of nice if he wasn't really able to be facile, wasn't able to fly too well. He, he allowed himself to get a little paunchy. And so no longer could his, were his wings capable of lifting him off the ground without a great deal of effort, which would make people feel a little bit for the dragon if he was a nice, nice fellow. I don't want to play. Of all the faraway lands he has visited, one spot remains most special to Ken Anderson. This is my laughing place. Remember Bear Rabbit? Uncle Remus's Bear Rabbit? Bear Rabbit had a laughing place. Everybody should have a laughing place. This is certainly mine. Filled me with life. These trees, the strength, the grace, the beauty of these California live oak trees is something that just inspires me every minute. In fact, it means life to me. Actually, literally, figuratively, and really means life. 